Wrestling is dead. It doesn't matter. AEW, WWE, Raw, SmackDown, Dynamite. It's all shite. Impact. Impact. You name it. They all suck. Oh. Power, NWA, Power. I don't, know, I don't know if it's still going, but if it is, you can guarantee it sucks. Wrestling is dead. It's going down the toilet. And in my opinion, it's no surprise. I mean, you'll get all the bombs. You'll get these rosters. How many of these people in all these shows would, would realistically be in that issue, Derek? Come on. Nope. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe, I think 10 at the absolute most. Yep, okay. Across, across every company. Well, let's be honest, Nate for TNA. So, I mean, you're looking at 10, and out of those 10, I mean, how many would be main offenders? None. So, this coming off the news a couple months ago, and NXT moved back to Tuesday nights. AEW must have thought they were the shit. They thought they won a, they thought they won a war against a, a development brand. They thought they were great. They had 1.2 million rating after NXT left. They thought they went up 450,000 fans, which they kind of did. They did go up, to be fair. But now, went straight they're, back then. now they're actually lower. They're getting lower ratings than they were before NXT moved. Absolute disaster for them. And they, they, now they're getting moved into it next year. They're, they're moving channel. They're no longer on TNT. They're moving to like the sister channel, TBS, and Meltzer. Which can, Thunder was on, by the way. And Thunder was a B show. Yep, so. uh, and Meltzer can talk about all oh, the, the contract negotiations and this and that, and they're negotiating new TV deals. They're not negotiating shit. They've been demoted, right? It's see, as that, simple that's as that. gets me about Meltzer, right? Just tell it what it see, is. Com- I've seen what he's coming up with here. It's like Tony Khan should be coming out and saying it, defending the company. Meltzer is a fucking journalist that should just be re- reporting on the news, not cheerleading for the company. Well, like, he's getting paid by him. That, that's, my, that's my point. If he was trying to be impartial, he's fucking failing at it. Oh, he's definitely not. <laughs> I mean, he used to love NXT, and now he's like, oh, NXT just doesn't have the, the sparkle it used to. Imagine, I am, I'm guessing that since, what, October 2019? When... Imagine actually paying Dave Meltzer to bump up your company. Fuck off, Tony Khan. I mean, I, I, I actually respect Meltzer. Like, I mean, I, I look at what the guy's achieved. I mean, it's all right ripping rot, rot, the piss out him, saying, oh, he does watch wrestling. But he makes a hell of a lot of money for it. Now, if, if people are stupid enough to, you know, pay Dave Meltzer twelve ninety nine for a fucking shitty online newsletter, you can pay me enough money to like New Japan as much as he does. I mean, Meltzer's made a, a good career for himself, right? No doubt about it. But he's a sad fuck. He's not the be all and end all of wrestling. What he likes, it obviously doesn't draw. Nobody else likes. He thinks Vince Russo's one of the worst writers of all time. He's one of the best. See if Tony can put as much money into like actually signing stars that he did all these sad fucks. He could actually get somebody. I mean, Meltzer thinks that today is the, the best period in wrestling history, and I mean, it's just not. Like, no matter what way you look at it, it's, it's just not. Couldn't be worse. So AEW are getting moved. The, their ratings are plummeting, and it's it's no surprise. I mean, they had Jericho, didn't really do nothing. They brought in Sting. Didn't really do nothing. I mean, did Sting even move the meter? No, he didn't. Christian? I don't even... Could they bring Christian in, then he's no there? Like, what over... Like, let's just have a logic. Who, right? who, who could they bring... See, I'm getting... I, I what other getting... TV show goes, like, goes and gets a star for, like, 25 years ago? And tries to... Make None, they just book stars. The writing. Yeah. You don't, know. you don't... You like... See if they did a reboot of Sons, they wouldn't like fucking oh, bring back Clay Morrow. We're just like, right, we'll create a fucking a new president who's going to play like the role of Clay or whatever. You know, he's going to be similar to Clay. It's, it's fucking madness. Like, I mean, it's it's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, so AEW down the shitter. They, they thought they won the war against the NXT. There was they, were, no they, war. they were laughing that NXT had to move to Tuesday nights, and now AEW is moving to Friday nights, and they'll be on after SmackDown. And it's a t- it's a terrible. You know what it is? Terrible time oh, slot. Friday Night Wars. So it's, it's, they're, they're on directly after SmackDown. Now the, you, people could say, "Oh, you know that's a, that's a, they'll get all the SmackDown fans." It, it comes on ten o'clock. That's like the graveyard shift. That is not a good time. Ten o'clock to twelve. Time. That is not prime time television. Would be about seven eight. Yeah. Ten to twelve is not a good time slot. It's not disastrous. Like it's not like ECW with their late night graveyard shift. But I mean. 10, 10 to twelve isn't the priority that you. That's not the. It's not the slot you book. Obviously, the eight to ten that SmackDown have is plus. I mean, Friday night. I mean, people like going to drink on a Friday night. I mean, people don't really want to sit and watch AEW on a Friday night. So 
that's what that's that's what's happening there. And SmackDown this week recorded their lowest rating of the year, lower than last week's one point was it one point nine two seven? This this week did a one point eight three. Um, only three SmackDowns this year have been under two million. This is the second one in a row. Like I said, lowest of the year. Again, not much of a surprise. At the start of the year, you have the, the Royal Rumble hype. Then you've got the, the road to WrestleMania. And you can see now, even like the Backlash Go Home show, the WrestleMania Backlash, they hyped that up as a big thing. Oh, Cesaro's the next big <laughs> next big draw. And then, you know what I mean, the dip under 2 million. Then the SmackDown after it again, the, the, they go even lower. And this could be the SmackDown rating. We, I, think we, I think it's conceivable. That SmackDown might not go for two million for a couple of months here. <laughs> for a game. Well, I, I, the only thing I think that might save SmackDown is the fans. Aye. See, if they're, see if they're doing the, the touring. If they get John Cena back, if they get some big stars, if Brock comes back, I mean that'll probably be enough to take them over the two mil. But see if nothing changes and wait, what SmackDown was it? They got like a free. It wasn't that long ago, was it not? I remember they got like a free million overall. Oh, the one when they first moved to Fox. No, no there was another one. Oh well, I don't know, but anyways, because it it was because it was directly after was it an NFL game in the first hour. Aye, they time. stayed. Aye, they stayed in. Aye, they got like it was really high. They got no, it was like a four or something. It was aye. like a four point five, and then that bumped up the overall rating. Um, but yeah, SmackDown. I, I think I, I, the only thing that can save them, in my opinion, is the fans coming back. Not that I don't think that'll put the rating up, but what I think that might do is that might. That might cause WWE to up their game and make the show better. And by making the show better, they might bring back more stars. Maybe, you know, they'll, they'll get Cena back and they might get Brock back. But other than that, there's, there's talk about Fox moving SmackDown onto their, like, you know, second sh channel. And they've done it before. And let's be honest, if Fox can... If there's an NFL game on, and I know they don't really have NFL on Friday night, but due to this COVID, if, if, if there's an NFL game that's getting moved to Friday night, what are they going to show on the main channel? Are they going to show an NFL game that's going to get like 10 mil? I know. Or are they going to show a wrestling show that's not even going to break too? It's a no-brainer. So guys, wrestling's dead. Meltzer, flip-flop and fly. The ratings are flying off the charts, but not in a good way. They're dipping down below. They're diving over the top. They're nose-diving over the top rope. And they're crashing to the floor. That's what the ratings are doing here. Anyway, that's that on Fogress. So make sure you stay tuned. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Got loads of good feds coming up. There's a like Chris Benoit. I don't know why I said Chris Benoit. He's in it, but he's not the main feature. There's a Bobby Lashley. Season mode for WWE 2K. WWE Smackdown vs. Raw, should I say? 2007. 2K 07. Uh, back when the WWE games were good. Back when wrestling was good in general. And uh, yeah, we get, we've got Bobby Lashley. One man, one mission world. Heavyweight champion, and he's taking on Benoit. He's taking on the dead man. There's, there's, there's the dead man, a dead man, and Bobby Lashley. So it's a, it's a freeway, it's a freeway storyline. If you want to watch that, Fed, will be coming up tomorrow probably, or some other day. But anyway, that's it, man. Make sure you stay tuned for all the other reviews: ECW, SmackDown, Raw, uh, the, the retro stuff, Ruthless Aggression. You name it, we're doing it. Christian season mode. Uh, that's it, I GM mode. You want mail feds? You like and subscribe, you comment down below and you'll get them all. Till next time though. Peace. Peace.